I've chosen not to go and injure people that have injured me. I've chosen to read up what was done to me. I've chose to read spiritually what was done to me, to forgive immediately, never do that to other people and rise, rise above it. Not really knowing anything, I was literally a girl Friday. Even in those days, security was still an order of the day in manufacturing because in the world you have to be careful, you're dealing with commodities. So not only did I have to watch the camera, open the door, make the tea, but I'm a very inquisitive girl and very arty. So it, it, it wasn't too long before I was weighing filings, standing over people's shoulders, having commentary, and that's really the way you learn from an inquiring mind. And I also worked incredibly long hours for very little money. So I became indispensable within that factory. And that's how people can also grow careers, is being indispensable in your career. The first piece I actually designed was a Marbay ring, and I literally floated the gold, because in manufacturing, if you plate work, and you uh, can literally roll it with a bit of heat and spot out a bit of metal, and I did that, I did like crashing diamond waves over this huge Marbay pearl. So that's how I first knew I had an incredibly bold nature. And I think that got traction and it got noticed. So that gave me the, another quo vadis and an awakening moment to be myself and not to fit in to the general genres of what other people expect you to fit in to. One of my favorite sayings is, who said so? and I encourage people to actually ask that.